Hello everybody, my name is Kadam, welcome back for a new series, NHL 23 boys, that's right, we're back, the game is finally came out, it's officially coming out on Friday, but uh, I got it early because of EA Play and stuff, I've got early access and all that stuff, so I got it on Tuesday instead, so I've got plenty of chance to test it out properly and stuff like that. Bunch of new stuff that came out. I want to check all of those things with you guys first. Uh, we're not going to be doing franchise mode just yet today. Today is just going to be a first look at the game and see what the new stuff is all about, what they implemented to the game and all. I've already they kind of interact uh, showed me a bit of the new stuff and everything. Rarely in game you can switch up uh, some new strategies and stuff like that, which is fun. Uh, there's a bunch of new stuff. First thing I want to see is the female characters, right? The female players. Can you actually do female versus men? Can you uh, get them to play together? Because this is all about diversity, this game, right? Because the girl and a, a, and a guy in the cover, uh, you would think the girls would be able to play with the man and, or play against them. So let's check that one out. That's the first thing I, I, I need to check out, boys. First thing. Uh, we obviously have the roster uh, rosters uh, update and stuff like that. We're going to go in, uh, do the online roster right away. That's done. We obviously have the roster sharing. I don't know if there's anybody. Is, is there anybody that uh, actually has uh, already... Uh, create anything? No, nope. it seems like there's nobody. I'm playing this on PS5, obviously, but another big thing that I know for a fact that uh, has been added to this game for the first time ever is cross-playing, boys. If you're in the same generation, of course, of console, you can actually play against an Xbox player and stuff like that, which is great. Because that means I'm going to be able to play with my friend and not have to literally buy the game twice, you know, just to play with him. That's going to be great, boys. Uh, another thing right here, creation zone, training practice, all this stuff is pretty much the same. Uh, offline stuff, pro, be a pro, which I hope it's better. I hope they uh, changed it so it's not as annoying as it was uh, previous year. Uh, and we got the franchise mode. New thing from the franchise mode as well. Uh, apparently, or Beer Pro, I think, uh, is the new thing. So, let's check up these things real quick. I, I, what I wanted to show, uh, to see, is I wanted to see... Okay, yeah, player movement. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to check as uh, a player movement. Can we switch it up? Is there the girl situation? Is this a thing? Can we switch it up? Can we get some girls in? We've got uh, all these different players and stuff. First off, Derek Brassard is actually he plays for. That's kind of weird because he is playing for. I'm gonna have to switch that up already, boys. He's already playing for the uh, the Ottawa Senators. He's with the Senators. I don't know why it doesn't put him uh, with them because obviously he's with them. I've seen him play with them a couple of times. So the rest I don't really know where they are at. I think we're good. So it looks like. Might not be the case again, boys. Uh, I think they didn't change it. Didn't change it at all. There's obviously Ukraine just like last year. Uh, they just added it. So that's good. But uh, yeah, I don't see anything. Let me check up the Montreal Canadiens. Just to be sure that they didn't mess that one up as well. The roster and everything. Seems like... Uh, okay, so Nick Suzuki. He's supposed to be the captain now, so obviously that's going to be a thing that we're going to have to put him as. He's the new captain for the Montreal Canadiens. Medium Elite, great. Cole Caulfield, of course, Medium Elite. 84? I would put him a lot higher than that. I mean, the man literally scored every single uh, game he played in the preseason. He uh, went 5-5 five five games, boys. So, 5 goals in 5 games, so... I don't know. I think I would probably put him in the 90s. Caulfield is a fucking beast. It's a goal scorer if I've ever seen one, boys. So, yeah. I think they, uh, they obviously need to switch things up a bit. Uh, Madison, that enough. Slow him down a little bit. He's kind of garbage. Gallagher, fine. All of these people. Monaghan needs to be, be a little bit higher. He's a good player. Dak as well, boys. They're good players. 
The rest, well, obviously carry price at 70 overall. High elite, which means they can, just stay, can still grow somehow. But the thing is with carry price is basically retired. Literally, basically retired. Uh, do they still have PK Subban in here? Because he did retire. I wonder if... No, okay, so he's not in there. All right, so he, they did put him out since he did retire. All right, so it's I don't I don't see the option to put any girl or any woman uh, hockey players in there, which is not what I wanted it to see. Uh, let's go into play now and see if it's possible to actually I don't know play as the girls. So obviously it's going to be able uh, we're going to be able to do it, but if I want to actually so if I want to do this like Team Canada and stuff like that. And I want to say play against Toronto, whatever. Oh, all right. No, it's the same thing as last year. So not really a diversity. It's not really all about diversity then, game. All right. They put a woman on the cover, but uh, they can't play against a man. So it's kind of a two-faced situation. I knew it was going to happen, boys. Uh, so the next stage we got to look at is the new stuff that they so-called implemented. Obviously the world of chill, ultimate team, all of this is the same pretty much. Uh, they did change some stuff in ultimate team. Uh, I believe you can actually play with the men because they showed us that you can play with the men and, and girls in ultimate team. Now who cares about hot? Do it for any other mod, please. I don't care about fucking hot. I don't play hot. I want to play uh, the other mods with the girls, you know. So, uh, be a pro. Franchise. Let's see franchise mode really quick. Is there any differences that they've added to the game? Custom league. Okay, so you can do your own custom league. That's about damn time. Uh, is it exactly like I think it is? Let me find out really quick. Uh, obviously, expansion draft. So, if I do custom league, let's see how it is. 32. Oh, I can do a lot of teams. Wow, how many more? How many teams? 48 teams? Two conferences? Yes, two conferences, 48 teams, four divisions. Um, I would say with 48 teams, you would need like six divisions, obviously. Uh, NHL salary cap. Uh, let's just put it off for now and all that stuff. I just want to see who we can put in. Uh, can Is it exactly what I think it is? If it is, boys... That's going to be super great. That's going to be fantastic. Uh, round Robin? What is this? When on, the setting will have every team play in a round robin schedule based on a number of teams. No, I don't care. No, uh, we're just going to do number of games. 82. We can uh, make it to 84. We're going to do 82 anyways. Uh, divisions games, 20. Conference games, 0. Interference, game, interference games. All right. I mean, it's all good. I think it's good like this already. Uh, we got all of this. Let's just, I just want to see really quick. Uh, I don't really care about any of this right now. Let's just move. Say I'm happy with uh, what I do. So let's just put, um, let's just say test. So 48 teams. Oh, I think it is. I think it is exactly what I want. Yeah, there we go. They finally implemented it, boys. Talk about something about about that time that they did that, so they finally implemented the um, uh, g got it back into the game, that whole thing, man, where you can put any league, any team in the uh, NHL and stuff like that, which you already know that's what exactly I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing custom league, boys. That's the best thing ever. That's great. So you you can add every single team you want and stuff like that in there. Obviously, no women in here, which is kind of a garbage situation. But you can put the alumni in here and stuff like that with 48 teams. It would be great. Like, per se, you put the Minnesota, uh, like, North Stars, the Whalers, the Nordique, the Nordic. You put everybody in here, boys. That would be great. That would be really great. So you got all of that. That's, that's really fun. That's really fun. I like that. I like that quite a lot. Uh, so that that I really like. That's really something I like. So that's that's the one thing that they added. Let me see if there's anything else. Playoff qualification. League conference. Oh, okay, so you can switch it up as well with that. Good, good, good. 
rounds. So we, we're going to check that up when we do an actual franchise mode, boys. We're going to check all of that up. Uh, we have in, even have the old AHL stuff as well. We um, change up the AHL settings. Oh, that's really great. That's... And that, I've got nothing to say against that. That I love that. Already, franchise mode is already even better, boys. Uh, I can see myself playing this game a lot now. With uh, being able to play with other leagues and stuff like that. That's that's really cool. Um, we've got, obviously, we've got to be a pro. So, be a pro. Let's check it out really quick. Entitlement activated. Congratulations to be a pro pre-order bonus. Okay, so I've got my, uh, my bonuses and all that stuff. Who cares? Okay, so obviously there's going to be the cutscene. It's probably looks to be the same cutscene as last year. We don't really care about that too much. Taylor yeah, it's the exact same type of cutscene as last year. So they didn't change a single thing, which is a kind of a shame. The oh, they did they say I could well, change it up a little this, bit. I, I, I wonder. Okay, so it's the exact same thing. We, uh, we have all of these archetype, the draft... All that stuff, it's the exact same thing, so nothing changes. Absolutely nothing changed, boys. So, uh, no difference whatsoever to this uh, be a pro season. Uh, that's a shame. That's really a shame. They didn't change a single thing, from my opinion. We'll, uh, we'll have to probably see eventually. I don't think I... I don't know if I want to actually play be a pro this year. Uh, if they didn't change anything, I don't know if they, like... Made it better for the cutscenes and whatnot. I don't know, but uh, I'm mostly going to be playing franchise just because franchise is going to be great for us to play. Maybe some online stuff eventually. I don't know. Uh, but do looks like this is it. Another thing I want to see, uh, obviously, is another thing I want to test out, boys, is uh, this whole thing right here. So I want to test out the creation zone. If we create a team, we add the girls into the team. Can we do that? And then put it just like I was doing in the old games. Uh, in my own, uh, what I was doing is I put a team in, random team, put the girls in, and then uh, basically once the girls are in the game, you can put them in the actual teams themselves. It doesn't look like it's the case. All right, uh, yeah, I can't do that. They're not in there. They're just not. Which is really weird, boys. It's really weird that they don't put the girls in. That's really weird. Okay. That puts me off a little bit. That really puts me off. Pisses me off at the same time. I can't play with the girls once again. See if there's any new dicks we can try. Well, we got a fellow Montreal Canadiens guy, I guess. So, two Montrealers right here fighting each other. That's good to see, boys. Really good to see. Cole Caulfield first. Uh, I, oh, it's me. All right, here we go. Let's see, boys. Okay. Well, that was the first. The first thing was kind of we're all starting. Really, we're all trying to figure out the moves. I'm kind of rusty on this game, boys. So it's a new game as well. Okay, that was a bad shot. He himself is just trying the game for the first time, I believe. We're both trying for the first time. So here we go, boys. Oh, okay. I tried. I'm trying new deeds. Obviously, I'm not trying to win here. I'm trying a new deeds. Oh, he is the captain. They did put him as the captain. Good. Suzuki, boys. The new captain of the Montreal Canadiens. Good save by me right there by Jake Allen. New starter for Montreal. Uh, we got Drouin right here. Let me... There we go. There it is. That's a good one, I guess. There it is, boys. So, Drouin scoring for us. Good, good, good. All right, that's a goal. Let me see, buddy. Go ahead. Show me what you got. Let me go. Oh, got me hard. Well, obviously, I made sure to do the dirty bird to give him a, an easy goal right there. So, oh, I messed that one up. Tried to do it, boys. In between the legs and everything. The one leg, uh, one stick thing. The Vorak is the next one. Let's see. Let's see what we got, boys. Boom! Pad save, boys. Martin Brodeur style right there. Who we got? Kirby Dak himself. Oh my god! Almost had him. In between the legs, boys. Almost had him right there. What do you think? Alright. Let me see really quick. Okay, yeah. 
He tried, he tried. He tried that one out again, boys. Oh, I fucking messed that one up. Of course, I messed it up, boys. I'm gonna figure, have to figure out all the dicks again. Unbelievable, boys. We're doing good. We're doing good. I, I, I don't want to lose this. Yeah, you're not trying that one on me. That never, that never goes in. Okay, let me try this. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna try a little bit of the shots just to feel myself in a little bit. You know, feel it, feel it a little bit. So we got uh, Mike Hoffman in here. Oh, he got it. All right, it's in. He did it, boys. He, he, he won. Damn, I lost my first shootout mode. Well, there it is right there. I mean, I did all right, I guess. I was struggling, though, for the digs. I think they changed a couple of digs and stuff the, the way uh, you have to do them. But really good, boys. Overall, really good. Uh, last thing I want to check up. Uh, it's going to be a, a really small video. It was really just to take a look at everything. Last thing I'm gonna take a look at is uh, the actual rosters, really, of the of the teams. But mostly, I I think the most part that's interesting to me. We already look at Montreal. Obviously, it's my team, my home team. So that's the only thing I really care about. The rest, though, I want to check at the alumni teams. What they added to them. So uh, let me see player movement. We're gonna see what type of do they have new game new players for the alumni? Hopefully they do. Maybe they do, right? So we got Salami, Niedermeyer, Curry, Pronger. Pretty much all the same. Koivu is in here as well. Uh, just like last year, pretty much. Couple of new players, maybe, that I don't recognize. Yeah, for the most part, it seems like it's the same. You guys let me know if it's not. We got uh, Curtis Joseph in here. Shane Dome, I believe. Pretty sure he was in there last year. I'm pretty sure he was there, boys. Okay, so we got all of them. Uh, Boston Bruins. Who, who do we got? Uh, Ray Book. Okay. Park. Rattel. Still not Bobby Orr. So they still did not add Bobby Orr to the game somehow. We do have Scott Artnell. I believe they did add him. They did add Scott Artnell. So Artnell is a new addition, I'm pretty sure. So that's good. Oh, we got Mac Denis as well. Oh, that's cool. They added Magdani in there, boys. The uh, represented from the uh, for the NHL, uh, the NHL department and stuff like that, and also our um, one of our commentators for uh, for Nash uh, for the uh, Montreal uh, Canadiens is one of the commentators for French uh, French commentators. So that's really good. Magdani himself, boys. There he is. I mean, he deserves it. He was for a long time the main starter for the uh, for the Columbus Blue Jackets. So he deserves it. That's that's really cool. That's really cool. I don't know if he should be higher than Mathieu Garon, though. But I mean, good for him, I guess. Good for him. So Gretzky is still a 97 overall in this game. Mark Messier is still an 84. The 94. Uh, they didn't really change anything uh, to the game per se. The rosters pretty much look the same, except from a few players that they added. I will know automatically as soon as I look at the Canadians uh, if they really added anything, boys. I'm gonna look and see right away. Basically, uh, Ray Ferraro is still there, of course. All right, let's look at uh, let's look at the Montreal Canadiens. What do they add? They still got Roy, uh, Maurice. Jacques yeah, they didn't add anything. They didn't add anything because uh, Guy Lafleur is still not there. And you would have thought they, they would have put the, the blonde demon in there. Uh, but uh, he's not there. Even though he died last year. Uh, R.I.P. Uh, R.I.P. Lafleur, boys. He died last year. They still don't have him. You would have been for just for some memoriam and stuff like that. I mean, he's our best goal scorer. No, no, not... Richard is our best goal scorer, but he's our best player of all time. Uh, Lafleur, that is. So, you would have thought he would, they would put him in. They don't. They just put everybody else in, but not him. It's it's kind of weird, boys. It's just like not playing Bobby R, basically. So, they don't... There's a couple of really important people they just don't put in. I don't know why. I really don't know why, boys. The rest is still the same. They didn't change a single thing to Montreal. Really didn't change a single thing. Uh, yeah. 
everything's the same. Maybe they could have even added Kovalev or something. No, they didn't. They just didn't do anything, boys. So, yeah. All right. Is Bradar still there as a 94? All right. Uh, Pud Vane's in. Oh, wait. I want to see. Is he another player that's not in there? See, again. Not only that Flora died, but another great Frenchman died uh, last year. Which was Mike Bussy, boys. Mike Bussy's not in the game again. How did they not add Mike Bussy as well? There's a lot of missing components here, boys. Um, I'm guessing we're going to have to make do with the ro uh, custom rosters. As soon as uh, someone plays the game and starts doing custom rosters, we're going to have to uh, make do with that. They did add Longvis. Oh, thank God. They add Longvis to the New York Rangers, but they can't add the other players. I mean, good for him, I guess. Longvis is in here. Unbelievable, boys. Ottawa, what do they got? They got Alfredson, of course. That's really good. Uh, good to see. Alfredson. Uh, they don't have the others, though. Hmm, interesting. They don't have anybody else. Uh, the uh, Philadelphia Flyers. They still have Lemur. They've got Jagger. There we go. Uh, what did Jagger? They actually retired, or no? He's still playing. In the you know, he's still playing uh, at 50 years old. He is still playing, boys. He is in the uh, uh, what you call it in the NA, uh, in the Liga or something like that. He's in uh, Russia. He's playing in uh, Czechoslovakia or something like that. Uh, that's good for him. So 94 overall, good. So they did put him with Lemur. About that time, boys. They did well to do that. Uh, we got Mark Recchi as well. Good. Good, good, good. That's all the good stuff. Uh, I want to see uh, any difference. Martin St. Louis is still there, but Le Cavalier is not there. All right. There are some Le Cavalier is missing. We got a bunch of players, boys. bunch of players uh, missing. The Sedin players are still there and stuff like that. Washington Wild. We got Murphy and Solani, all of that stuff. So most of this, most of, most of the stuff is still the same. Uh, Roster-wise, not much changed. They changed a little bit here and there, but all the big players that I wanted to see in this game that weren't there in the last year, they are, they're still not there. Uh, Lafleur, Mike Bossy. Uh, who else? Like a bunch of players, bunch of players. The Le Cavalier. All of them, they're not there this year. So, yeah, I don't know, boys. Uh, I, I I don't know. It's kind of weird. Uh, some stuff, like the girls not being able to play, it's going to be a rough year again. Maybe they'll update it eventually. I doubt it. Uh, they mostly tend to leave it to the community to do that for them. So, uh, here's hoping that the community is going to be great enough, good enough this year to be able to add all this stuff together. So, uh, for now, boys, though, uh, I'll leave it to uh, for now. So, next video, we're going to be uh, starting up our franchise mode with uh, custom league. So, you guys let me know which team you want me to play and add to specifically, specifically to the team. Afterwards, if you don't let me know, I'll just do it myself. I don't care. I already have the ideas in my head. So, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this first look at the game. I'll see you guys for the actual first part. Keep it easy, boys.